The man in the orange outfit that you're seeing on screen right now is Hidekaza Yukawa. More than just another NPC, Mr. Yukawa was in fact a real living person who became something of a celebrity in the Dreamcast era. He was called Mr. Sega by his fans, he had his own promotional puzzle game, he was a main character in the What's Shenmue demo disc, and he even had a hidden cameo in the final version of Shenmue, which you're seeing now. All of this followed after Mr. Yukawa starred in a series of popular Dreamcast TV commercials around the launch of the Sega Dreamcast in Japan in 1998. In those commercials, Yukawa, who was a managing director at Sega, becomes depressed when he overhears kids criticizing Sega and saying that PlayStation is better. After Yukawa hits rock bottom, he rises up to sell as many Dreamcasts as he can. The ad campaign was well loved, and the Dreamcast enjoyed the strongest launch of a console to that point in time which prompted new commercials, in which Yukawa apologizes for the Dreamcast being sold out and promises that more are on the way. Later, in 1999, when Shenmue's Japanese release date was pushed back, Sega released a demo disc to everyone who pre-ordered the game called What's Shenmue? In this demo, the player playing as Shenmue's main character, Ryo Hazuki, must locate Mr. Yukawa and help him retrieve a stolen disc that contains the Dreamcast's new big game, this, of course, being Shenmue. The player, as Ryo Hazuki fights off some punks, chases Yukawa down and saves him from a nefarious character, after which Yukawa awakens in his office and realizes that the whole thing was a dream. Okay, so you're a big Yukawa fan, and you're pretty excited to learn of his cameo in Shenmue. So here's how to see it for yourself. It's not difficult, but it can be a little bit time-consuming. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Abe store in Ryo's hometown. Once there, you need to enter the raffle to win one of these two Yukawa action figures. And to do that, you need to buy some potato chips, caramel candy, or chocolate. Take those items up to the counter, and the old lady will call you Little Baby Boy Ryo for some reason. So, are you gonna buy this, Little Ryo? And then tell you to draw a ticket. Okay, Little Ryo, try your luck. When you draw a ticket, you have a chance of winning one of a handful of prizes, including capsule toys of classic Sega games, and larger figures like the Yukawa figure, or Dural from Virtua Fighter. Take your toy. More often than not, you're going to win nothing. The chances of winning the first prize, for example, are 1 in 400. So you'll lose again and again and again. Oh, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad. But eventually, you'll win. One note here, I just want to say that I love the emotion in Ryo's voice when he wins the Yukawa figure. Okay, you can really hear how excited he is to have this weird, dumb toy. And Corey Marshall, the voice actor who portrays Ryo, he did a great job on this. Yes! I missed a Yukawa figure. You're on a roll! So after you've won the first Yukawa figure, you'll repeat the process until you finally win the second. Oh. Too bad. Oh. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Oh. Too bad. Yes! I missed a Yukawa figure. You're on a roll! So you've got both Yukawa figures, and even though you haven't seen Yukawa himself yet, you're feeling pretty great. The last tricky piece of the puzzle is that Yukawa doesn't show up every night. He only appears on the 9th of every month, and only after 8pm, and then only in one shop, the Takara Sushi Shop in Dubuita. So, all that's left is to wait for the right date and time, head to the shop, and there he is. Hidekaza Yukawa, shaking a mixed drink, sort of, without anything in his hands really. But there he is, and then if you press the action button to interact with him, he runs away, and that's it. That's all we get. In the English version, anyway, the Japanese version, he actually talks to Ryo about the last time they met in the What's Shenmue demo, but we don't get that in the English version. Still. 
It's great to see Yukawa in the game, especially after the news recently that he unfortunately passed away in 2021, but it's nice that he lives on in Shenmue and in our hearts. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know. If you didn't, I understand completely, and we'll catch you in the next one.